and still goes out very fast like she did this morning. She was 26-5 going out this morning. That was ahead of world record pace. Elaine Breeden got a good start in five. So did Magnuson. They're about equal on their reaction times. We'll get to that more later on, but they're about even. They actually both were square off the blocks at the same time. Magnuson has that side breathing. You'll see her right in the middle of the pool. Breeden's actually going out with her. 26-69. It's a tenth behind her time this morning. Vollmer's second. Only four women have ever broken 57 in this event. A and little slower this night tonight than she was this morning, which is going to give everybody else a little breathing room. And Dana Vollmer's right there with her. And here comes Elaine Breen. Magnuson, Vollmer. Magnuson trying to hang on. Vollmer with a push. And it is Magnuson. 57-15. No record. But a terrific swim, just seven one hundredths off her personal best. And how about Dana Vollmer, who's had such an up and down career? You see Magnuson with that black cap right in the middle with that side breathing. Kind of helps her eliminate that late breathing, good flexibility on that. Kind of comes up on her finish. She wants to have that nice momentum coming into the finish, but she kind of lifts up. Drives that lead elbow. A little short maybe at the end, but boy, really, I love that Dana Vollmer made this team. You know, she's, as I said, had such an up and down career. Didn't make the Olympic team last summer, and now here she is back on the national team. But what a great swim by Christine yeah. Magnuson.